Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, welcome to our second uh, new member Q&A uh, via Zoom for uh, the month of April. And my name's Betsy Coe. Uh, we've been doing these Thanks. for about a year and a half now. And it's an opportunity yeah. to give people uh, real-time help. And particularly in a way, um, Zoom, Zoom wow. allows us to, uh, to sh uh, share screens so we can look at things in, in, in the moment and, okay. and hopefully dispel any confusions that are going on. Um, so if you're, whether you're with us right now on, on screen or whether you're joining us later, um, welcome. Um, so we, we have, a. Four four participants today. We're four four hosts and four participants. <laughs> so I Over hope you brought, brought some questions. No question is too elementary. Um, I mean, oftentimes what we do on these um, sessions is we talk about uh, how to create a profile, how to um, do the different kinds of sourcing. Um, whether it's bullet points or inline citations, how to add a photo, how to correct relationships within the family that may have gone askew. Um, I, you know, if 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 there's time, I actually want to show everybody the suggestion list since we're just coming off a of thon. I think that if you don't know about that, that's a good good thing. <laughs> so, but first, quite um, first, actually, let me let me. Uh, uh, ask Mur Murray and Steve and Hillary to introduce themselves. So, Murray. Hi, I'm Murray Maloney. I'm a retired technical writer. I've been working on Wikitree for, I think it's, is it two? Uh, no. Since since the pandemic started, I've been on Wikitree. Was that four years? Um, it gets fuzzy. And, yeah, just about. And, it's 24. <laughs> I'm a member of a number of projects, including the uh, the apps project, and I do some writing for um, uh, Wikitree browser extension and Greg Clark's tree apps. And over to you, Hillary. Right. I am one of the project coordinators for the England project and the world project. In the England project, I am one of the coordinators for the Orphan Trail. Um, in the Wales one, I'm one of the county um, ones, and I'm also a greeter and a mentor. So I help out with quite a bit on Wikitree. I've been on Wikitree since 2011, and I have a heck of a lot of people in my watch list that I'm gradually trying to improve. So, <laughs> so Steve. Oh, yeah, me. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I am Stephen. I've been on Wikitree for coming up on four years now. I guess summer of 24 will be four years, so 2020. Uh, I have existing background as a Wiki founder. Uh, been working on Wikis for 20 years, so this was a natural fit for me when I came into Wikitree. And obviously my interest in you know genealogy overlap so well. Um, I manage several pages, <laughs> multiple pages on you know space pages for uh, one name, one place, uh, you know, di different aspects. I, I'm taking over Tanzania project. I will probably need some assistance on that with actual Tanzanians that uh, can speak Swahili. So, you know, just kind of launching off in different directions, um, not finishing any projects that I'm currently starting. <laughs> it's, you know, the, pro the ball keeps rolling and we just keep finding new things, but it, it, it keeps me entertained, keeps me busy when I'm not running off and doing other stuff. So I'm here to help, you know, any questions. Yep, Steve is, has been with me since the very first new member Zoom session. <laughs> he, he just came on and, and had a lot of great contributions. And uh, so, yeah, it's been here ever since. Very. Thanks awesome. for still having me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what questions, Anne, Doris, Marilyn, Karen? Oh, my God. Okay, Anne. Yes. Oh, she gave in. What what questions do you have? Oh, oh, I don't have any. 
You don't have any. Okay. Okay. Uh, I asked you uh, I, the questions before everybody uh, came in. Right. So, and you should do that also for, you know, for everybody around, you know, for the living people. Oh, yes. So there were some big changes on Wikitree um, on April 1st. And one of those had to do with um, the protocols with adding a living person. Um, so Murray, do you, Murray or Steve or Hillary, do you think you could find the G2G post related to that? Um, Chris, Chris came straight post. from Chris Witten. Um, and, I need to read this post. I wasn't aware. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think a lot of people missed it. It seems mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of questions and a little confusion about um, the differences and how we're now going to handle um, having. Oh, there it is. Uh, how do you deal with living persons? Uh, I'll just go ahead and. Uh, put it in the chat. Yeah. And uh, it's, it, let me say that I, I, uh, since on the Saturday morning roundup, I do a tip of the week segment. I, uh, I devoted the last two mm -hmm. weeks to talking about this mm -hmm. and on Tuesday, um, there's going to be a treetops uh, live cast on Tuesday morning at 11. That's not, 11. That's not uh, right. That's not the one. For, never mind. That's from 2021. <laughs> I, I have an issue with finding stuff in G2G sometimes, even if I search it. Um, I, you know what? I have it, I have it uh, in my favorites. So as soon as I stop talking, then I can put it up. Um, so, so there's plenty of opportunity. Um, um, if you watch the last two Saturday live roundup, roundup live casts or tune in on Tuesday, it's going to be the wiki, some of the wiki tree team members who are going to, you know, and you can fire away your specific questions like in, in this situation, what do I do? But ba basically we want to make sure that all living people mm -hmm. have been invited and have a chance to say, yes, I want to join or no, um, pl uh, please, uh, I don't want to be involved and their, uh, but their profile will become an anonymous placeholder where their private, their relationship in the, in the family is protect is preserved. So we can still see that so-and-so has a living aunt, but we don't know anything more. And the anonymous placeholder con idea is that it will keep them from being bothered repeatedly. Like, you know, I might have the great idea. Hey, we should add, we should add Aunt Molly. And Aunt Molly doesn't want to do anything to do with that. And then nine months later, one of my cousins might say, oh, we should add Aunt Molly. And so we don't want to keep, you know, if they have an anonymous, anonymous placeholder, then awesome. we don't. The, the person will not keep getting requests and the invitations. So um, there's that. Um, would Hillary, Steve, Murray, would, would one of you like to show suggestions? And I will find it while you do that. Yes. Off. Well, there's a there's okay. a link in the chat for now. Wikitree Tour is talking about the new invitation system that uh, oh, Hillary has shared. I mean... and, and I have a question about that. Yes, Eric, go ahead. Um, I have living family members that I know are not interested in participating, <laughs> but if I have them marked, well, I mean, it's like my kids, I put their profiles in there. Um, if they are, if the profile is red, then they don't even show up in the search, correct? That's true. Red would be unlisted. Yeah. So what you're looking for is not having them in there multiple times because other family members decided to add them. Right, right. So how does making them an anonymous placeholder change that? But let me ask you a question. So when you look at your page, mm -hmm. well, actually you might be a, could we look at your page and I just sure. want to, um, okay, I'm going to share my screen and let's go here and here okay um so can you remind me of your your id karen sure it's harris 13251 we are oh, that's it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so let's see okay so your your children do you know i can at least see that you have two private funds mm -hmm. 
And so now let me ask you, when you click on one of, and if I, well, I can't even click, but if you click, does it give you any sort of a, a banner across the top that says, please invite this person to WikiTree? I think it did. And I ignored it. Give me a second. Here. Well, yeah, if you ignored it, it'll still be there because <laughs> I, I ignored it, that too. Initially. If I click on their profile, I don't know why sometimes the relatives come down the right side of the page and sometimes they don't. So I have to find it. Mm -hmm. That's so yes. So the browser extension sort of thing, I think. So it would trigger if it sensed that you know, a person was not deceased. It would just say, hey, have you invited this person yet? Yes, I get and that banner. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. then, yeah, what you do need to do is at least you need to, even though I know you've marked them uh, unlisted, you need to send them an invitation. They can just ignore it for, they don't have to do anything. And after 30 mm -hmm. days, they will become an anonymous placeholder. How does that affect anything? How does that affect how I see them? And how does that affect? It, uh, do, it do, Honestly, it doesn't affect how, um, how you it, see them it doesn't it affect it, up the seven. Yes. it doesn't um i it's just it's just the system that's been implemented um, so i and, just shared a link to anonymous placeholder help page i did find okay. that at least yeah um and um so it'll just look like um here i'm gonna stop screen sharing for a second uh, so I can show you something, what it would look like. Um, I'll go to my. Okay. And then go to. Okay. So now let me, let me return to, um, the screen share. So this is this is um, an older relative of mine where I um, had created her profile um, uh, about five, well, early on in my wiki tree time. So let's say three and a half years ago. And so this is all that that people will see. I, of course, because I'm the profile manager, I could still I can still see things. You but, get the link. Yeah. Nobody else gets the link actually. Um, yes, true. So yes. And because you have the I browser know. extension, you can see the relationship. That's something that would not pop up. Right. Anybody mm -hmm. else's. Exactly. But so, although we've, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Steve. If they have the browser extension, will they still be able to see the relationship, even though it's an unlisted profile? Like you're looking at it right now. I can on mine. I've got I've got somebody who is um he's got like the black clock on it so basically unlisted but I'm the man profile manager and I can see them and it's asking me to invite them to WikiTree. Mm -hmm. right. I'm trying to see if someone who is not a profile manager would still see the same relationship you know query that pops up the top if they're using the browser extension. Mm -hmm. Because your children, Karen, they they have profile IDs, right? Sure. Right. So. Um, yeah, I, I wonder if you went to WikiTree and did not log in no and did a search for them, you know, which you could do from the, you know, imagine you're not logged in, you mm -hmm. go to the home page, you type in their ID, then you would see what someone other than you would see. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good test if you want to you really have the, like the outside looks like. You also have that link on the profile page that says um, public view. Right. Exactly, which mm -hmm. which I always forget about, but that's very helpful. Yeah. Either of those two will work. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'd be nice when you invite the person to join Wikitree. I don't know who does the programming on this. Mm -hmm. um, it would be nice when you invite the person. I just invited my niece. Yes. Um, if you could put a message on that invite. You can. Um, actually, let, let me show you if we go um, living people, help living people. Okay. Do you all see the help page for living people? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So this is an example of the message that, uh, let's see, wait a minute. Creating profiles. 
invite, oh, it's under invitations, sorry. Okay, the help invitations page, and this is what they will receive. For example, if it was me, Betsy invites you to view and share family history on Wikitree. And then there's a space where you can insert a personal message from you, you know, a few sentences, and then describes Wikitree, um, gives some instructions for how to create an account, uh, talks about a policy, uh, a privacy policy, and then sort of walks through the three scenarios, like they accept the invitation, they do nothing, um, which is also the same as declining. They will both lead to an mm -hmm. anonymous placeholder or deleting the invitation, which is probably not as good an idea because then they could get invited again in the future. Except that it didn't give me anything to put a note. It just said your invitation has been sent. Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's wrong. That's interesting. I will ask about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can. <laughs> yeah. Um, because uh, that that's not a scenario that I've w walked through myself, so I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Can you test it yourself, Betsy? Can you? find a person that you um, might want to invite I, and, and not go like, don't commit to it. But right, to no, I understand. To my knowledge, that one relative was was the only one that I can think of that I have who is living. Mm -hmm. I've otherwise been extremely um, careful. Yeah. Then we can't share it because it's private. And it's like, okay, and we can't, we can't actually show it in process. We have to like make up somebody completely <laughs> to just kind of get the point across. Um, I can, if I could share my screen, I could do another one. Sure. That helps. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, just making you co-host me share. Figure out. Stop sharing. Okay. That's a good idea. Let me see if I can find it because I've got two monitors up, so. Oh, my dog is wanting in. Can you get the dog? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's okay. Dogs are great. Dogs. I got a headset, so hopefully you're not listening to his conversation, but no can hear it. Okay. Okay. Bear with me here. Oh wow, you're gonna invite this guy from fifteen hundreds. <laughs> no, I'm, I've got multiple screens open trying to follow what you guys are doing and I just don't know how to make this do what I want to do. Well, that's a... I can't see it because the screen is at the top. Easily confused tag. I'm just checking out this little query box that popped up on Richard's uh, profile. That's interesting. Oh. What's that? Oh, I, I guess there's an easily confused uh, tag. Okay. That you can add to those. There's like there's like multiple uh, Richard Carpenters here trying to get merged. Yeah, that, that's a good feature to have for the older profiles. All right, let's see. Okay, so we'll just go to my son here, James. You could have done my husband because he. There is, no there's one right there. Let me do that. Let me go back. I'm going to go back and do my husband. Mm -hmm. ah. I, don't <laughs> I don't think I want him on Wikitree, but I'll tell him to ignore it. <laughs> okay. Now, so if I just click on this. Yep. Right? Y'all can see it? Yep. We can. Wait, your cousin's with him too. Now, wait, wait. it. Um, way, way far, way far. Now it gives me that, but it doesn't tell me how to send it. Understand. Oh, wait, did you there click on the wrong button? Passed it. No, that's just the help page for it. Oh, oh, it is. Yeah, no, there's there's a link that's like right next to it. So okay. if you click the uh, that um, button, it doesn't actually do the invite process. Okay, it just right. takes you to so, the page. Okay, 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 okay. So maybe it. Maybe I misunderstood. Okay, so if I invite this person. You have to put their email in to send the invite. So, so you have to uh, edit the profile and add the email. Yeah, okay. yeah. go back okay. to the profile, go into edit mode. And now 
scroll down and there there's an email address field yeah right. but you don't have to actually do okay mm -hmm. but yes i uh i i don't know about that that difference that you notice between the sample and that seem to allow insertion of some personal message lines and um, there's comments and invitation that pops up there it is right here oh perfect oh good is this just the javascript thing that's great all right let's do this differently Am I missing y'all up? No, no, not at all. Okay. All right. Go back to me. Probably not the best way to do that. This is the one that I would have invited. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, that's good. Okay. So why did it open the box? I think just leave. I tabbed. I did a the tab space. off of it. Okay. I tabbed off of it. So hitting the space, I think, generates the the code for it to then launch into comments because it knows that the uh, email is complete, right? Mm -hmm. You see, type the letters until you go all the way to the end. And if you don't hit that space bar, it's not going to understand that it's complete. Or if you don't click off of it, it's not going to understand it's complete. Does that right. make sense? Yeah. Maybe that's what's not triggering the comments. Computers are finicky. <laughs> Very. All, all the questions I've received from my dad on how to operate the internet are basically the things I've had to work out for like the last 20 years. Just like yeah. <laughs> you know, little tips and tricks that most people don't know about until they've actually gone through and finagled with the thing. Yeah, and invite. Yeah. Okay. And I ask you questions like, what's the internet? What's a browser? What's this cursor thing on my screen? Oh. And then I get this. Did you guys yeah. see what I did when I went through that process? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That. Thank you for providing a real time example for us. Yeah. She'll and mm -hmm. she'll like the, she'll like the invite. She'll probably jump in. Uh -huh. One month to respond. <laughs> now can i ask a question regarding <clears throat> other types of living people yeah uh, in in particular notables yes uh, because notables project can they override this policy Ooh. uh yes wait a second let's let me go to living people because there was a hyperlink uh help living people there's something about notable people. Good. There we go. Notables, all screen share. I know screen. that we have lots of living notable people on our site as long as they fall within the requirements mm -hmm. of notability. All right. So help with living notables. Um, I believe. There it is. Yeah. Um, as a general rule, we can. Public figures prohibits any information about a living person to be made public without first recording the person's explicit cons consent. However, we make exceptions for highly visible public figures if we can safely assume that they have consented to public distribution of at least some of their personal information. Which and would be it, like a Wikipedia article. Exactly, yeah. Right. So if it exists on Wikipedia, that is effectively their consent. Right. So, so in order to be considered a living notable, must be at least 18, must have a Wikipedia article about them, um, with the Wikipedia article appearing in at least three languages, and... Uh, and that includes the, the English language, right? 
-hmm. So it could be like two other languages and an English language. Right. right. And okay. the Wikipedia article in more than one language must include information about at least one nuclear family member. Mm -hmm. And we are not aware that the notable person would prefer to keep the information we are putting on Wikitree private. Mm -hmm. So, you know, someone could, even if they meet conditions one, two, three, and four, they mm -hmm. could come to Wikitree and say, please take it down. And then we have to respect it. Mm -hmm. Until okay. they're deceased. Okay. Yep. It's a slippery slope. It's it's a tricky thing to handle. I mean, as a member of Notables Project, I I am walking you know it's in line sometimes with that. Um, yeah. I also feel that if the information does exist already on the internet, you know th there's that interpretation of it to make on rule number five, and only when they respond to us, you know, then we would act right. Uh, mm -hmm. But I guess the the default, you know, is at least allowing one through four to be valid. Right. Um, and this question came up in my mind um, just a few weeks ago when um, one of the people in the uh, list of uh, connection finder notables for the week um, it was somebody who where I, I also know this person's father, who is also a notable. And so I, no. uh, I, I passed I passed uh, passed this along, but you know, I didn't know quite what reaction it might be. It was could either be, Wow, this is cool, which is the reaction I got, fortunately. Or, whoa, this is creepy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, just, you just don't know. But, um, you know, I was that led me to wonder to myself. Well, when we do connection finder or connection combat mm -hmm. with people, I mean, so there's got to be um, a, a traceable family tree including from you know like one yeah, degree. i mean would this stuff already have been on ancestry before we got to it like would it have already right. been on right. g or or right. any of those other sites you know and, and there's nothing they can do to stop uh, the information from spreading on the internet and once we get it of course it's going to spread even farther mm -hmm. um but mm -hmm. i mean at some point they can't lock into well you can't put anything about my you know great grandfather on the internet well, yeah. because that person's been long deceased and right. i mean at some point other people would be interested in that same great grandfather right so here's where that's addressed you know generous generally speaking mm -hmm. you shouldn't create a profile for a living family member of a notable unless they themselves meet the eligibility requirements well, for right family. right those are living members of notables that don't right. fall under notable status right. unless um, again like you said, the father of a notable that was also a notable. Not a notable. Right, However, right. profiles of close relatives of notables may be created if okay. their identity and relationship to the notable has been made public. And you right. can reasonably assume the subject has had the chance to have their name removed from your public source. Right. So acceptable sources would include obituaries, interviews, and other reports where the subject has the right to have their name removed. It would not include official records if the subject does not have that right. No. What so happens if that's, how it oh, is. that's the loophole? What happens if we add the information and then they have their information removed from the source that we're citing? Then do we have to act accordingly to do the same at that point once we discover it? Yeah, logically, yes. That could be a lot to keep up with. Like we're not always paying attention to those changes. You know, once we put a source on something, we kind of walk away from it. I would assume if someone is going to the energy length of having their name removed yeah. from an obituary. Remove or, all the cartouches off of all of the pillars, yeah. right? Then they would, they would, um, you know, follow up with us as well. You're right. Okay. We, we get that bridge, we'll cross it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we don't want to burn any bridges. <laughs> Very good. So. Um, Thank you for clarifying that, Betsy. Great oh. question. Thank you. Me yeah, too. Yeah, sure. And and let me um, reiterate that you have another chance to ask more questions. Uh, so Steve, did you did someone put up the uh, the you put up anonymous placeholders? Hillary put up. Uh, yeah, I did link to that at least. So so Hillary is the the G two G post that you put up. Is that for the April first changes? That was for the tours that's that led into the end. That's for the oh, tours. For the tour. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still didn't really find it. 
Okay, I you know, Witten I can post, find, right? I can find it. Um, would someone like to show connections while I find a few links? Uh, not connections. I'm sorry. Suggestions. Mm -hmm. Right. I feel like you would Great. be better suited. What are we looking for? Uh, um, suggestions. Demonstrate Thanks. how people look at their suggestions. You know, since we're coming off a connectathon and there are lots of new profiles in your watch list. Um, yeah. Yeah. I I cleared out my suggestions every week, so I don't. Yeah, you're like me. I hardly have any. I only have a couple. Okay, I, I, I can look at them then. I, I haven't touched my suggestions in a long time. Okay. okay. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do one a day now. So, uh, yeah, sure. Let me look at my suggestions. Uh, wow. How do you get into it? I'm go find, I've got here some for people okay. related to me, if need be. <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and screen share. So, I'm going to okay. do that right now. So I'm on this page, I have a lot of other things going on. Okay, everybody can see help. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yep. I'm just going to go up to my wiki tree and then I'm going to go down to suggestions. That's where suggestions oh. is hiding. Okay. And then uh, there are a lot of dead Germans in this one. Okay, so it's giving me, uh, it's giving me both errors and warnings. Uh, I have 183 suggestions that have piled up. Uh, this one's like saying error 210 father was dead before birth and it gives it an intermediate difficulty of getting it corrected. So that right. might be something that I, I this is pre 1700 so I don't really want to deal with that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, marriage location country not recognized. Okay, this this is something I could probably tell it to ignore because it doesn't quite recognize the Holy Roman Empire as a thing. It doesn't know that it's not a country, it's a, an empire, but that's what we classify these old profiles as. Mm -hmm. um, so let's maybe do that. Um, I would just go into their profile itself and then ad address that situation at the bottom of the page once I edit it, right? Is, is that what I have to do to make a correction? Um, I'm sorry, What what is the... Uh... Okay. Yeah, I'm going I'm going to go into this person's profile, Scrody yeah. 22, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell it that the marriage location, it's saying it's not recognized. I'm going to tell it to ignore it because Heiliges Romanisches Reich, which means Holy Roman Empire in German, is a location. It's just not a country. Right. Mm -hmm. I had that trouble too. <laughs> uh, which I really wish that you know we can override on just that term itself because we use it so much. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, it's weird. There's no profile manager for this one. Well, I'm going to change that. Oh, <laughs> good for you. I think it's it's one of my cousins who was working on him, and he he dropped a lot of his out of his watch list. So that's that's why it came up on my watch list. Okay. Okay. So let's see. It doesn't understand Holigus Romicius Reich or Holy Roman Empire. So let's go into the profile. Uh, being a little slow when I'm screen sharing here. Now at the bottom should be wiki tree suggestions. There it is. There it is. Morning. Uh, oh, it says marriage location country not recognized. Okay, so what I have to go back a step. What's the marriage coming up as? Have a cost. Okay. Have a cost is a village or a dwarf uh, within these locations. Yulsen, which is now a, a <laughs> land or county. Uh, which is in Lower Saxony or Niedersachsen, but back then it wasn't called Niedersachsen. It was within uh, the basically Brunswick Lüneburg or Brunswick Lüneburg um, it was either a duchy or a kingdom. I think that's Kirpistumdom means kingdom, and then within the Holy Roman Empire. So I'm going to copy all of this information here, and I'm going to see if that changes the relationship and, and gets rid of the suggestion. So now I have to go to. Uh, edit marriage to Dorothea Elizabeth Minerick. Uh, yep. So then I'm going to add in these other locations to the place name. I'm not going to select this because I don't want it to autofill, but it does recognize Holy Roman Empire, at least when I type in Helegus Roman Strike. Um, don't have the information for the end date. Uh, I could probably say this is an exact date for the marriage date, so I'm, I'm actually going to tap certain on that. Uh, let's see, save marriage changes. 
Now that's all been brought up to speed with the rest of the information on this profile. Uh, does the query still stops show it. up? No, it stops it. No longer there. Oops, it's still there. Okay. So okay. I'm going to say I fixed it. I'm going to say added uh, German location names. And I'm going to say fixed. And it goes away. And then I can go return to profile without saving. And then if I go back to my suggestions, he should not show up, but his wife. Oh, wait, maybe he'll take out the wife too, because it was a marriage. Um, yeah, I, I don't see him here. I just see a whole bunch. Of, oh, oh, there they are. But do you didn't? Look well, I see his... that's him and his wife. And that they I was the profile manager yeah. of the wife. That's why he came up. Oh. Um, you might need to refresh the page before it'll disappear. Right. Sometimes it takes a minute. I'm going to do control. Uh, sometimes that changes. If you hold down either the control or the shift, I think it can uh, refresh the cache, but it's not doing it right now. <laughs> uh, does it take like 24 hours to register changes on suggestions then? Oh, you, you, well, you, uh, Sorry, you're breaking up. He does it fairly quickly, not always immediately, though. No, it takes a while. You might be typing it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to just stop sharing at the moment here. So Ooh, you are typing it. Oh. Yeah. So the suggestions, I mean, once you. You address one. Um, the way I've been doing it is I click in the st on the status box to the far right of yeah, the line. Yeah, and, yeah. And you say it's resolved, and just there's actually even a, a checklist uh, of um, you know things I can just select, mm -hmm. like oh I change I updated the location uh, or yeah, corrected. That, that's what I did. Uh, I said fixed, and then it went away. So that should have registered it, right? Mm -hmm. When, when I typed in the comment and said fixed. Yeah, it will a bit, but I think uh, uh, the update uh, every Monday or Tuesday, I think it goes away. Okay, so we're waiting until the Monday for the right, suggestions. Because, because, because is, it, is it part of uh, the, 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 the data doctor section? That's yeah. right. Right, okay, yeah. Clearly I don't do it enough. <laughs> you can see how they filed up. <laughs> Yeah. Now I have re now I have things to do today. <laughs> I, I actually don't. Up. I have like uh, lots of other real world stuff I have to do outside of this. <laughs> um, most Which of my suggestions are not my suggestions. They're something that I'm helping somebody else with, and I'm managing it at the moment. Or they're ones that are related to me, but not necessarily ones that I manage at the moment. So yeah, yeah and I I like the way that. Uh, the suggestions are, are categorized, and sometimes there's even a little help video that's been prepared by the data doctors. Um, and if you click on the little YouTube icon, it'll take you usually to a you know three to five minute video that does a screen demonstration screen share um, demonstration of how to fix the particular error in question. Mm -hmm. so, um, yep, but yep. it's it's educational and humbling to go through your suggestions because um, we're all human and make mistakes. And I've discovered some some things where I really I don't know how I missed. <laughs> the AI is smarter than us. Yeah. It's scary. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's really nice to have that um, checks and balance check and balance in place. Okay. Any other questions? New questions. <laughs> Look at Anne wants to take over. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Not really. Not really. She's been doing this a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. It, it's only been two years. Um, only two I, years. I, I, I was in 2020. Then I gave up because it was such a mind blowing thing. I, I have no idea what was going on. So I Sorry. gave up. And then something happened. I think it was Roots Tech that started the whole thing that, you know, there was a thing on Roots Tech that said, oh, you should do WikiTree. So that started the whole shebang again. 
<laughs> yeah, I pulled you in, and now and and now now it's almost almost what twenty four seven. It it can uh, really hook you in. <laughs> yeah, it it did it did it did it, especially with all those good YouTubes, um, it, it, info and so forth. It really helped a lot. Because it, day was because probably. yeah because and plus I could figure out what I did wrong way back then. I said, oh, you stupid idiot, you did that. <laughs> you don't feel like that. Yeah, no. right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're all we're all still learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all stupid idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm still learning a lot from all the different uh, countries. Like I was doing Germany, I had to do Germany, and I I did not know I had a person that was born in 1857, and I know it was not Germany then. No, <laughs> it was the German Confederation. Right. Yeah. The Deutscher Bund. Right. Right. So I'll, I'll type in the German on that profile. <laughs> so 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 I completely had to you know learn different histories of uh, of all these different countries. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Generally, 1871 is your formation of Germany. So, so then you can say Deutsches Reich at that point. But it's it still is the German Empire, and it's not like modern day Germany. So I right, don't say right, like right. Deutschland. Yeah, yeah. Deutschland right. didn't exist. So we, you right. know, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. The, there's a our Germany project has a really good section on what all the names were oh, at a certain time. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Because Dieter, Lo yeah, Dieter was the one that worked on a lot of the time frame stuff. So he breaks it down by like you know, each section, you know, Holy Roman Empire, uh, German Confederation, North German Confederation, German Empire, Nazi Germany. Uh, yeah, and, and then eventually modern day Germany. Right, 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 right. But yeah. also East and West too, like if you get right. into modern day Germany. Right, yeah. My uh, my my sister-in-law is from Munich. And okay. And her parents Mention. are <laughs> from, you know, so, so it's going to be very interesting to get into that. If you have any Germany questions, I mean, please ask, and I'll try to help you as best I can. <laughs> Murray does. Murray too. Yeah. <laughs> so, Steven, Murray, Steven, I, I just uh, put an ID in the chat. Yeah. Oh, Becker. Yeah. Now, so so Becker, I think he's my third great grandfather. We're looking up. And um, he would have come. He would have come over to North America during the uh, French and Indian Wars, mm. we think. Okay, I see him. Palatine migration. He was a tailor. And um, is Becker Taylor in Germany? Okay, and so and I there. just can't. I can't go. I, I mean, we we think maybe we know who his parents were. Okay, so um, but but. Um, but well, yeah, that's an interesting can't. place name, Wieslach in, in Baden. I mean, if we can look up any kind of Beckers in Wieslach. Oh, I know I mean, Baden. Yeah. I know that that's a common name, 12,000 matches, but then I might be able to do a search on the location here. Edit search, birth location, uh, Wieslach. Wait, how did I spell it? How was that spelled? Yeah, we've tried all kinds of. Okay, L O C H. Um, let's try this for a person's birth location. Um, Wieslach is more of a county, I guess, and then there's other places inside it called Rot, R O T. Um, and then there's your uh, profile of Johann Jacob, yeah, Johann Jacob Becker uh, de Blunden at the bottom of the page. But I'm seeing other Beckers that are in this place called Rot, R O T, that are within that Wieslach. Um, and if I can find anything that's like around 1700, those don't exist on WikiTree yet. Yeah. We have 1890s, 1857. Okay. This is something you might have to go to another German resource for and add it. Okay. Uh, certainly tag Germany Project and they'll look into it for you. Oh, or hit them up on the Discord. Yeah, I've, I've done that. Okay. What what did they say? Um, good luck. Oh, what? No. Good luck. I'm gonna have to talk to those guys. <laughs> no, Flo Flo helped me a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, but basically Flo helped me by telling me that I had conflated um, parents, and okay. uh, 
and, and basically it just can't find any records. Well, I'm wondering if it like was during a period of time where records were destroyed, like 30 years war or something like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, the whole point of the Palantine migration was instability, right? And people were moving out of that area because um, there, there was a lot of conflict going on in that neck of the world, right? With uh, Napoleonic Wars and stuff, right? Okay. I, I'm, I'm guessing here. I'm, I'm not really sure on that part of German history as much. Uh, but I believe that was a part of it, you know, that there's some uh, political strife or conflict. I mean, it's a good reason for a lot of people to emigrate. You know, especially in like the 1860s and 70s when the German Empire, you know, was spreading in Prussia and all that was a thing. So is we would we slock be near the French border? Uh, if it's Baden, that's so modern day Baden Württemberg is on the border with France. Okay. So if you if you go to the west, uh, you're in a, a you know a French area uh, on the other yeah. side of the Neckar Valley or the Rhine Valley. Um, okay. So so yeah, at yeah, some yeah, point yeah. in the past, you know France and Germany, yeah, that that area could have been France yeah. at that time. Um, I'm trying oh, to think of the borders. Good. Beeslock. Let me look up that place yeah. name itself. Yeah, I know about it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so modern day Beeslock still exists. Uh, the town of Northern Baden Württemberg, 13 kilometers south of Heidelberg. This is close to where my mom comes from, actually. Okay. Uh, the fossil remains of the oldest hummingbird found to date were found in a clay pit in this area. <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah, so, so if you look at a map of Germany, you know, it, it's it's going to be within Germany. It's not like right on the border with France. But if you go to the south of that area, eventually you'll run into the border with France, uh, which goes along the river. Um, and back in the day, let's see, it would have been part of Baden. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something to look into. I mean, you know, as long as the city was still in place, it looks like it was named as early as 1622 there was the 30 years war in april of 1622 uh, the battle of vislock in 1632 uh the battle of vislock in 1799 well that that's pretty close to that person right that we're looking at earlier um where did they go 1729 is when they were born approximately and then this little place called rot which is like i don't know if that's going to show up that might be too small Anyway, it's certainly something to look into. Oh, there's a St. Leon Rot in the vicinity. Okay, so that might be associated with a church. Um, or that might be a little dwarf here. That's something to look into. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and share that. It's a Wikipedia article, so. M maybe some breadcrumbs. You know, maybe some other things you can look into for place names. Um Maybe that church has records, you know, St. Leon. Uh, so it's still in place. Yeah. 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 Mm. Thanks. Yeah, no, no problem. I mean, doing what I can. I wish I had the mental capacity to continue on this today, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, did you do uh, a lot of the work on this profile, Murray? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It looks very, very comprehensive and thorough. So, um, and I notice you even have, there are profiles created for the, the marriage witnesses. And I mean, it's. Yeah, you know, you know. Well, that's uh, what I, yeah, those could be relatives too at some point. Well, that, that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, who, who were these people mm -hmm. and why were they there? Mm -hmm. Right. And and is there any relationship? And so. So, yeah, I did some research on that and I did find some relations mm -hmm. um, to the bride. Um, and, yeah, I just thought that that might inform my further investigation. Exactly. you got to work the fan club. Uh, and also, I did notice that. I mean, and this is kind of humorous that it's possible his last name could be Pecker and not Becker. It could also be a phonetical translation because of the, the BP sounds, you know, between German and English. Um, but maybe we need to look into records for those surnames uh, in Germany if Becker is not coming up. And that could explain why we're running into a brick wall. 
So just something to think about. Interesting. Okay. There. Yep. Yep. Or it could be an umlaut somewhere too. <laughs> well, um, keep us posted with that, Murray. Oh, yeah. keep check. I'm going to highlight it as a favorite, so I can come back to this too. I'm I'm fascinated by this feast lock place now. In fact, did we, yeah, we just can't. We we just we we don't know when he came over exactly. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know how he met his wife. Um, his wife has native uh, native blood, and you know this was during the period of the French and Indian Wars. Um, and at, at one point, I thought that maybe. Um, maybe that, that they were somehow tied to the the Acadian expulsion, but um, but after rigorous searching for a ship that arrived in Quebec City on September the 1st, 1776, I found that there was no connection. So yeah, so I'm just really confused about all this. Um, I don't have, in my DNA, I don't have any German. Hmm. Um, one of my cousins has has German blood, according to ancestry, but I don't. And so I'm not, you know, I'm not getting DNA matches that that help yeah. me with that at all. Yeah. Um, I found something else interesting. I don't know if this is going to matter, but I, I did see that he was connected to the Wieslag Baden Württemberg category. And within that category, you know, there is like another Becker, but there's also a Bender, B E N D E R. So maybe there's a possible transliteration issue that maybe it was actually the Bender family and not the Becker family when they immigrated, then it kind of came up with Becker as the name or something, but. Well, you know, his name was, was always, was spelt consistently Becker, except for that um, wedding record. Right. With a P instead of a B. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, he he was somewhat educated. He was a tailor. I mean, he's and he spelt his own name Becker. So I'm I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I, I feel pretty confident about the B. Okay, okay. So then the Becker, we think is the name. It's just identifying other Beckers that might be in that area. Then, yeah. Okay. That, that's also a good uh, thing to note on categorization. I always promote categorization because it could lead to breadcrumbs it could leave the clues yes. for figuring out who those people are and maybe you just didn't find them on the wiki but you know then somebody else categorized them in um so always always try to categorize whenever possible always will push that yeah yeah anyways well, it's 11 o'clock now <laughs> yeah we've come up on an hour um i belated welcome to sue and chris who snuck in uh great Hello. to have you um do we have one one more question for the road? Yes, Chris. Yeah, go ahead. I was wondering, how do you, when you're displaying a photo, how do you name that person within the photo? Oh. Uh, okay. Um, do you have an example? You basically tag them, right? Okay. How do you do it? Okay, so well, let me go to uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna go to my my dad's profile images. So well, <laughs> see, Ed, here's a massive group photo. Not everybody in this photo is. Well, here's one of me and him, so that's at least two. And so you can see that I have both of us uh, linked to the photo. So it shows up on my my feed too. Yeah. Uh, the way you add, add it, yeah, is down a little ways on the left. It says add person or thing. And you would just type in Smith three, four, five, and certain or uncertain, and then the, just save changes to the profile. Um, yeah, that same would, changes image details. that would link it to yeah and then it would be linked i mean you can link it to many many profiles if it's relevant okay but what about a specific photo like you had the picture of a lot of people are you yeah. able to 
identify it to that specific person? Well, that's it. You're right. thinking like Facebook tagging or something to yeah, that effect. We don't, I don't we think we don't have that have, capability. Yeah, okay. we don't have some. I mean, I think the best thing that you could do is um, is to, in the comments, I could edit this. Mm -hmm. And and then I could say um, front row, left to right, and list second row, okay. left to right. That's what I would do. Okay. Yeah. Or you yeah. could potentially edit the photo and just, you know, put like a little line of text above somebody's head or yeah. something like that too. Yeah. I mean, there's just multiple ways to illustrate that data. Mm -hmm. okay. If you want to keep the image intact, I mean, clearly. Correct. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm just curious if it could be done. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It would be very, very handy, but testing yeah. the limits of WikiTree capability. <laughs> Maybe you know what? Our our team of developers is is awe inspiring. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody didn't come up with something. Probably. Yeah. I just don't have the capability. I don't have the knowledge to do that, I yeah. should say. We'll now on the fan Yes. On the how fan. do you find somebody particular on the fan chart? Uh, so let's see, fan charts, I would go to, uh, apps. uh the apps. is it with entry apps? Yes. Yes. It's entry apps. Okay. Yeah. And fan chart. Press go. Yeah. Okay. And it's less developed on my, wow. It's maybe my dad is not such a great example because I have not let me um what, what was the question though how do you find somebody particular let's say when you go into mine okay let's say wine oh there's a good one there yeah let's say okay. if you want to find somebody particular in the fan chart or anybody in particular like when your whole with fan charts filled and you're looking for somebody particular how do you find someone's spot there instead of having to type them in on the fan thing then you'll come with 29 million names. You were looking for somebody particular. Well, then you or might want to use the uh, ancestors chart, or sorry, you might want to use the, the pedigree chart to better identify people instead of the fan chart. Okay. Because you know, the fan chart would be used to depict these relationships in, in this orientation, but you can obviously look at your family tree in multiple orientations. This may not be the best uh, way of doing what you're requesting. Yeah, I, I was just going to say, I mean, what I might do instead of that is go to my watch list and then um, do some sorting here at, uh, or search. Um, uh, let's see if I do red. And if you're looking for like a cousin that's not a direct ancestor. You right. Okay. I'm going to bring list. up all my redwoods the, in my watch list. That narrows it down. Oh, okay. I never thought to do that, to be honest. Stupid question, but I never thought to do that. No, there are no, no stupid no, questions. No stupid questions. Okay. Hey, look, there were things I didn't know how to do today, right? <laughs> we're always Sorry, learning. Here. Right. I had church to do. It's our Palm no, Sunday. So. No, no worries. No worries. Glad, glad you could make it. Um, so um, I guess we'll wrap it up today. Um, and um, our next, our next one, our next uh, Q and A via Zoom um, will be the second Thursday of May. So that's Thursday, May 9th um, at uh, seven. I'm sorry, eight eight p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time, and um, you know. Come back often. There's, as as Steve was just saying, there's there's never too uh, too basic a question. Certainly, no stupid questions. We're here to help. And one um, person can know everything on the wiki. Yeah. So much as I tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty. That is a beautiful garden. I yes. Love it. I'm jealous. <laughs> Very jealous. All right. Well, I'm going to stop recording now. And thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Well, thank you for hosting yes. us, Betsy. Yeah, thank Betsy you.